Hey everybody, it's Tristan from Ultimate Queen Celebration, starring Mark Martell and also Toronto's Come From Away. And today is day five of my, uh, well, <laughs> unemployment and also self-imposed isolation slash quarantine. And apparently also several days into a period of indifference to my personal appearance. But be that as it may, as long as I'm stuck here with all these beautiful guitars, I figure I should make some more content for you guys, because I really appreciate you uh, signing up. I definitely value each and every one of you and want to keep giving you more good stuff. So I've had some requests from uh, Brian May fans for more Brian May related content and there'll definitely be some stuff for you maniacs. I'm also going to do some gear demos and I'm open to ideas. Anything you'd like to see me demo, play through, react to, explain, explore, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for notifications. Today I'd like to show you a uh, little chromatic warm-up that I came up with. It's particularly good for those of you with 24 fret guitars like this uh, Brian May inspired build or uh, Ibanez Gem, some of the PRS's, you get the idea. But the cool thing about it is it gets you from the lowest note of the guitar to the highest note of the guitar and all the way back down. You hit everything in between. So without any further ado, let's get started. You start obviously with the lowest note on the guitar, which is an open E. Then fret the next four notes, one finger per fret. Then shift position. Then cross strings. Shift position again. Repeat. This is also kind of functions as an alternate picking exercise. If you finish with a downstroke, well, if you get all the way to the finish without making a mistake, congratulations. But if you finish with a downstroke, that means that you probably alternate pick the whole thing. But you really don't necessarily have to alternate pick it. It's all about what sounds good. And it's not about speed. I would recommend practicing this with a metronome as always. Start slow and work your way up. It's a warm up, so you don't want to launch right away into your fastest thing. And besides, I guarantee you that something that's played well will sound faster than something that's played fast but sloppy. And really this is more just about connecting with your instrument, getting your hands working together, crossing strings cleanly, and above all, position shifting, helping to keep you from getting locked in one place. Uh, if you like this, please like it and subscribe and ding the bell for notifications. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming up soon. And stay safe, don't get sick.